Hello everyone! In today's vlog rewatch, we're going to look back at one of the vlogs from our Mariner of the Seas cruise, which we took out of Miami. It was a four-night Bahamas cruise in August of 2018. The vlog that we're going to look at today is from the first night of our cruise. We had left the Port of Miami in the afternoon, and this was after dinner. We decided to take a walk around the promenade deck which is on deck four on Mariner of the Seas. I'm doing this one a little bit differently in that I just pulled some clips from the video rather than showing the whole video, but I will link the entire video up above for you so that you can watch it if you want to. Let's take a look at the first clip. So we're gonna take a walk around the promenade deck on deck four. But first I have to show you guys this. <sighs> Isn't that gorgeous? And if you look really close, you can see the skyscrapers in the city of Miami. I just thought that was really cool. Okay, what this clip brings to mind is that I, the thing that I think we enjoyed the most about this particular cruise, especially I know was true for me and Ben, was being out on the ocean and the beautiful colors. If you watched one of our previous vlog rewatches, which I'll link up above, we had an aft balcony stateroom on this cruise, and I know Ben especially just really enjoyed sitting out on the balcony and watching the ocean and seeing the wake of the ship and just getting to see the, the water, which was so blue, and we had just beautiful, amazing sunsets every night on this cruise. And I think that was probably our favorite thing about this cruise. Okay, let's take a look at the second clip. What's in there? Yeah. Oh, it's just like a service area. Ah. So this is what a full one looks like. Okay. Thank you, Ben. A few things I noticed from that clip. First of all, again, just that beautiful sunset and the gorgeous deep blue of the ocean and how Megan commented that it was so beautiful. The second thing that came to mind when I watched that clip is how we really enjoy getting dressed up for dinner on a cruise. And we also really enjoy getting our pictures taken when we get dressed up for dinner. And we've gotten some really nice portraits that way, family portraits. and. We really don't have any other opportunity in our daily lives to get dressed up and like for Megan and I to wear pretty dresses. You'll notice that Ben is just wearing shorts in this. He had actually changed after dinner and put on his casual outfit again, but Megan and I both still had our dresses on from dinner. And we have lots of pretty dresses, but we really don't have any opportunity to wear them other than when we eat dinner on a cruise. So that's kind of a neat thing. And I miss that because we, we don't have any other opportunity to dress up and look really pretty. And then uh, when Ben stuck his head in that little service area, which I think, I'm still not exactly sure what that was. It might have been something with boarding and disembarking the ship, but I'm not sure about that. I don't know. I'm not sure. But anyway, he stuck his head in there and I said, what's in there? And, Me and Megan said, air. And the reason she was saying that is because the one thing about this cruise, it was out of Miami to the Bahamas in August. Oh, by the way, this video was shot on my birthday, August 20th. It was so hot and it was so humid. And even on the ship, even when you were outside on the ship, and I've talked about this in videos before, it was very, very hot. Now, the ocean breeze helped a little, but we definitely very much appreciated the air conditioning inside the ship and like in our stateroom on this cruise. And I don't know that I would do another cruise to the Bahamas or the Caribbean in the summer like that again, just because it really made a lot of the top deck stuff almost unusable, which I've talked about in a previous video. And then another thing was uh, Ben opened up that little cabinet there on the wall. That's the shuffleboard equipment. 
and it's there and free for anybody to use. And we did play shuffleboard, which I th another day, which I think I mentioned coming up in the video. We usually like to play shuffleboard when we cruise. We've played shuffleboard on Disney Cruise Line too, and it's a fun family activity. It's a fun game to play. And then the last thing I noticed in this particular clip was that we walked through the smoking section. Over on the right between some of the deck chairs, you might notice there was like an ashtray thing. So that is one thing. Although they've made the majority of ships smoke free, there are still smoking sh sections on for smokers on some ships. And unfortunately, one place that you'll still find them is the casinos, which can really the smoke can spread to a lot of areas nearby in the center of the ship and then outside in some section of the deck like this. And I really don't like that because inevitably it's some place that other people are going to need to walk through. And it kind of ruins you being able to walk all the way around the ship that eventually you've got to walk through this cloud of smoke. So I don't know what the solution is, but I personally don't like that at all. Let's look at the last clip. It's on this sign. So hold on, I just want to see what's up these stairs. But can you go look and just see? Be careful. Does it go all the way to the bow? Huh? Okay. Be careful. Hold the rail. Or not. days later but I came up those steps to see if I actually can get all the way to the bow I was on deck four which is where like the promenade deck is we just played shuffleboard it rained that's why there's all this water and yes indeed we can get to the bow it's very wet so I have to be careful oh in fact there's a really cool thing here. Shoot! How do we miss this? There's the front of the ship. Oh, this is the helicopter pad. There's the tugboat. It's very slippery. There is the Norwegian uh, gem and enchantment of the seas. And there's a tour boat coming back from, looks like a dolphin encounter. We backed into the harbor, so we're actually gonna go straight out this way. So this is cool, we should come up here well, no, we can't do it tonight. Darn it. There is no other time we're going to leave any place. Um, because we're not leaving Nassau till midnight tonight, and we'll be in bed. And so, um, and then tomorrow's a sea day, so, I mean, we could come out here on the sea day, I guess. I think that may be the hotel my dad and I stayed at that time in the 80s. Senior Frogs was not there. That looks familiar. Does anybody know what that hotel is? Comment down below if you know. Is it a hotel? And what is that they're building right next to it? Is that a hotel? Just curious. This. There are cars and trucks driving off this freighter. Go slow or you'll go off the end of the dock. <sighs> this freighter pulled in here between us and the city of Nassau after we already docked. I feel like I've seen that freighter before. Some other crews. Here's the bridge. Will you get to go on the bridge tomorrow? Okay, so that was a longer clip. The first thing was that first night, and I we had actually walked through the interior part of 
it was would have been forward of the ship, uh, kind of right by the theater, the main theater, and then and cut across to the other side of the promenade deck. Because we didn't realize that you could go up those steps and around the bow and back down the steps on the other side. We figured that out when I when I went a couple days later and discovered this. And then we did that more than once. But we figured it out kind of late. So that's one thing about these big ships. They're so big and there's so many different places you can walk around and all sorts of little nooks and crannies that you could spend like a really long time just exploring the ship and not find everything like that. You know, rooms you didn't know existed or hallways or whatever. When I sent Ben up there to check, he didn't walk any farther than the top of the stairs. So he didn't realize that that kept going all the way to the bow. And I actually have no idea what he said when he came back down the stairs there. A couple days later, we were docked in Nassau. We did not do anything in Nassau that day. I did get off the ship briefly in the morning and just walked up and down the pier to look at what other ships were docked in Nassau with us at the time. That's how I knew what those other ships were because I had walked around the stern of them earlier in the morning. Other than that, we didn't get off the ship in Nassau. So when I was filming the, the second part of this clip was while we were docked in Nassau and most people would have been off the ship. It was sometime in the afternoon. What I was talking about with it was a bummer that we hadn't found that bow section on the helicopter pad there earlier is because it's it's cool to have a place to stand outside somewhere on the ship. And I especially think either in the front of the ship or the back of the ship is a really cool place to be when you leave ports and when you arrive in ports. And when we left port from Miami, we actually sat out on our own balcony, which was at the of the ship and I will put a link to that video right up here because that's a longer video when we left Miami but you can get some really cool views of Miami going down the Miami River and into the ocean when you um, leave there and I realized later after we we had filmed that video and done that that the ships we were seeing off to the port side of the ship the left side of our ship which would have been to the north of us those ships would have been coming from Fort Lauderdale or Port Everglades and I didn't, I just didn't think about that at the time that I filmed that. I mentioned at the end there, we were going to see the bridge the next day. We did go on a very in-depth, private, behind-the-scenes tour of the entire ship. We were not allowed to video on that tour, but we were allowed to take pictures. And I did make it into a video, which I will link right up here for you if you want to watch that. So thank you everyone for uh, joining me for today's vlog rewatch. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please be sure that you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of these upcoming vlog rewatches. And if you liked this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up down below. Thanks everyone. Safe travels. Mm -hmm.